Hi, Red Knights. Today's fluency lesson is going to focus on accuracy and phrasing. Accuracy is when you read the words correctly. Phrasing is when you read smoothly and you do not sound like a robot. When you read, it almost sounds like you're just talking. Reading with accuracy and proper phrasing is very important when reading an argumentative text. When reading an argumentative text aloud, read facts such as dates and numbers with accuracy so the audience hears them correctly. You don't want to tell them the wrong thing, right? Read as though you are speaking naturally. Pause at commas and periods. Use expression when you see question marks and exclamation points. This kind of phrasing helps your audience pay attention. Quick tip. Don't rush when you read facts aloud. Read at a rate that helps your listeners understand the facts and how they relate to the topic. Let's read this short paragraph so that I can model accuracy in phrasing. As I'm reading this paragraph, take note of how it sounds when I read the numbers and come across punctuation like these periods and exclamation points. No one knew that millions of people would want to visit. There were no clues. Now, more than 275 million visitors come to the parks and monuments each year. Did you notice how I made sure to pause at the periods and my voice went up in excitement when I came to the sentence that ends with an exclamation point? I also made sure that I read this number accurately. If I didn't stop at the punctuation, it would sound like this. No one knew that millions of people wanted to visit there. Were no clues now more than 275 million visitors come to parks and monuments each year. Do you see how different that sound? It was hard to tell when a sentence ended and when a new sentence began. Take notice how I also said 275 instead of 275. If you don't read a text with accuracy and phrasing, it can really change or hurt the meaning of the passage. Now it's your turn. Pick a passage from your favorite story of this week or a passage given to you by your teacher and record yourself reading with accuracy and phrasing. Don't forget to look for those periods, commas, exclamation points, or question marks as you're reading. You might want to practice reading out loud a couple of times before you make your recording. Have fun and happy reading.